The Daily Quirk caught up with John Chavon and Amy Berg of Da Vinci's Demons at New York Comic Con, and we're bringing you the exclusive interview. How far have you guys planned to head now? Well, we have a, actually, we have a, we, we spent the first few weeks in the writer's room just talking about character arcs for season three and beyond, and where we, we wanted to go, and, um, you know, we, we, we've, we've all worked on uh, genre shows with la- large mythologies, and learned a lot of lessons about creating those and creating mythologies that can work and live and grow without boxing you in a corner, et cetera. So we, we spent a lot of time, and we, we, have, we have several seasons in our heads uh, in, in broad strokes that we could we can take these characters, because the characters are so rich. And I mean, everybody is kind of Da Vinci's demon in this, in, in, in this uh, world, and, and we have all these great characters to put, for him to interact with and for, uh, to build stories around. So we, we, we've, got a, we've got quite a plan. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we are actually running the season finale uh, as we give these interviews, um, and it's uh, it's it's really interesting because uh, it's it's going to be till spring 2015 that people get to see what we're up to. Um, but uh, we're very excited about uh, where the season's going, and and the actors are uh, more brilliant than ever, um, and the stories are more character driven than ever, and uh, we can't wait for everybody to check it out. What do you think it is that makes this historical fiction so popular with the audiences today? I think to a certain extent it's it's the fantastic in a real world and that's what we keep, we keep trying to ground it yet uh, do something wild and exciting and and unexpected and I think people like to imagine maybe this these things did happen maybe this is the true history and not what I read in the history books and I think it's a big draw for that yeah it's it's fantasy but it's it's steeped in in truth and and hopefully um, I think Da Vinci's Demons particularly is is relatable to audiences um, and uh, I mean it's just a great world for us to play in and we're having a, a fun time just one more quick one uh, will we see the setting split that we kind of saw in season two where half the cast was off in the the new world and then we had half of them back in Florence and dealing with politics. Um, this season, we're much more focused on this invasion that's coming. Again, as Amy said, that's our Pearl Harbor, and it affects everyone's lives. It affects Lorenzo and Florence. It affects the Pope. It affects the prisoner Pope, it, it, and of course Leo. And and so we really felt we wanted to get the band back together and uh, get get our characters interacting and working on the same uh, on the same mission. Yeah, it's a singular through line for the season. Um, we don't split off as, as, as much as uh, past seasons have. Um, just because we want, uh, I think the characters are the best and, and the actors' performances are the best when they're all together. Um, so we want to make sure we service that. All right, you guys are great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.